Welcome Pisces. Okay, so let's look at Pisces, what is going on for you over the next few weeks, okay, and potentially what guidance can be given for you over that time. Okay, we are using Nature's Whispers Oracle cards, the Grace cards, and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so if you haven't checked out your activation yet, Pisces, go and have a look. And there may be other activations, regardless of zodiac sign, that you may be drawn to. And I also did four more um, because there were cards that didn't come out in the zodiacs. And I just felt like, you know, some people might need those activations as well. So yeah, they're there too. Okay, so let's have a look at your first card, Be Spontaneous. Be spontaneous. For some of you, it's very interesting that this has come up, Pisces, because I often see your energy as a spontaneous energy. Okay. Um, but I just wonder if for some of you, yours, you appear to be spontaneous but it's actually because you can see what will happen anyway, if that makes sense. Because sometimes, often, you know, to me anyway, spontaneous means that you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know the outcome. Um, you're just going to explore as you go. Okay, but I feel like for some of you, it's like... You, you, you're spontaneous with an expectation of the outcome and that's what you go towards okay and I feel like this could be something that you don't do that maybe you need to um, not focus on okay um, feel like this is going to help your growth I feel like you'll only agree to be spontaneous if the path is clear um, too many cards I've got one card here which is control the other card for be spontaneous for Pisces it could be that this is something you've been working on as well Pisces um, let's have a look here we go this is flipped up I don't know what it is yet so I'm just going to wait control okay this could help you if, if there are those of you who are trying to work on maybe letting go of some control, the spontaneous um, actions could help you with that. And it could be very overwhelming for you, especially if you are naturally a controlling person. Okay. Um, and it could be for something very simple. It could actually be like, oh, well, I'm on my way to work today. Guess what? I'm going to take a different route. You know, it could be, Anything, it could, you know, just start small with it. Um, also, the other thing I want to say with this is you may very well feel like, yeah, I'm spontaneous, no problem. That's not me. This isn't my reading. That's not about me. But if you actually examine a lot of things in your life, you may begin to realize just how controlled things are in your life. So this is something that I feel like is important for you to pay close attention to. Okay. Clinging to the past. So I feel as though, see, this is so interesting because to be honest with you, Pisces, I am getting two very different energies from these cards. Okay, and I know, Pisces, that you are very good at blinging things up. You will have this box over your head and it looks so friggin' amazing. Everyone wants a box over their head. That's your ability to do Okay, to do that, to be like, oh my God, put my box on your head. Like, this is so cool in here. Like, look, I've even decorated it all inside. And it's psychedelic and it's fun and it's, I've done this spontaneously. <laughs> but you've still got the box over your head. Did I call you Aquarius before? I don't know. Anyway, if I did. I'm on you, Pisces. Don't worry. The cards are infused with your energy. Um, yeah. I feel as though, hey, 
how about being spontaneous and taking that box off your head? Really interesting. And not only that, but if you do take the box off of your head, guess what, Pisces? Here's a second box. <laughs> um, but I feel like this is part of this control. It could even be that for some of you, your environment is quite controlling, maybe. Um, and it could even be that for some of you, you are... It could be that you've been in a controlled environment for so long that you feel like you're being spontaneous, but in fact you're actually not because it is actually controlled. Um, and it just could be the smallest of things that you don't know. It's not always the case that control is like someone coming in and, you know, with a freaking, I don't know, you know, like a, a gun holding it to your head and being like, you do this or else. You know, it's not about that. It, it can be the smallest of things. It could be that you've been conditioned to be this way for a really long time. You know, so just really examining your everyday life and seeing how it is that you could do things differently, what it's like to do things differently, and start playing around with it, okay? The clinging to the past, um, you know, it could very well be that you were controlled in the past, okay, and you've kind of, you know, for some of you, it might be that, oh, no, that's, okay, what's coming to mind here, for some reason, is that I've heard so many people say, as a kid, I got smacked, and it didn't do me any harm, yeah, we used to get a hiding for that, but you know what? I turned out all right, you know, um, and I feel like this is what blinging it up looks like. Guess what? That was abuse. Don't bling it up. Okay? Being spontaneous could be actually being honest with yourself and saying, do you know what? That wasn't okay today. That was not okay. Yeah. Seek beauty. Seek beauty. This is a very different energy from being spontaneous. Actually, what I'm drawn to here is the dandelions all on her head. All the petals of the dandelions have gathered on her head. Now, we use dandelions to blow on and make a wish. And watch them all float away. And we see little dandelion petals floating around. And we're like, oh, it's a nice little fairy. Those dandelions, when they land in the grass and plant their seed, they grow into prickles. And these dandelions are landing on her head. So I just wonder if for a lot of you, there's a lot of prickly thoughts in your mind. And potentially, I would actually feel like, what I feel like needs to happen, Pisces, is for you to examine your mind and um, just see where different thoughts are leading you to, okay? Because it could be that you're so used to a way of thinking or a way of being that you don't actually realize even what's going on, okay? So the seek beauty is looking for the good thoughts in your mind that you can hold on to. Okay, and letting those prickly thoughts be like dandelion petals and float away and keep the ones that promote beauty in your life. Okay, so let's have a look. Tell me more. Tell me more about seek beauty for Pisces, please. The burden. Interesting. Yeah. Seek beauty. One. No, two more. I want one more. The burden. We've, here we, there we go thank you okay so we've got the burden here see this could be what has been imposed upon you this could be other people's ideas and other people's directions and this is where I want to go and this is what I want to do and and you're just carrying that you know and so it really is taking a step back Pisces and going what do I want to do 
What about me? Is this someone else's dream? Is this really what I want? Did, did this dream come about because of other people in my life? Would I have done this anyway? What was it that I really wanted to do when I, you know, before, when I kind of maybe um, from a teenager, even as a little one, what did you want to do then? You know, is, is what you're living now the direction that you wanted to go in when at a certain point in your life? And I understand that that can change throughout your life. But I feel like as kids, we have this, this natural passion inside of us. And it's up to us to hold on to that and, and allow that to grow and sort of ferment in a, in a sense. And I feel like this is important for you to trust that as a child, you naturally knew what it is that you were meant to do. What your mission is, is really, I suppose, um, because I feel like some of you have been taken on another path and it's not necessarily the path you're meant to be on. And with this being a burden, maybe this is where the sick beauty is because, you know, with all these prickling thoughts, the controlling, clinging to the past, okay, the burden. I feel like, I feel like, because this is so weird to me, Pisces. I've got these big, spontaneous and sick beauty. And on top of this, I have these really heavy cards. And I'm like, there's something off. There's something off. Feel like this is you being your true self authentically no restrictions no control so it's either that you don't trust or yeah there's something up with that then we have laughter see what i mean this is so contrasting but again this is this childlike child's play right having fun, having lots of laughter, riding on the unicorns above the clouds. This is... Okay, so tell me more about laughter for Pisces. You know, though, I have to say this. It could be very well, Pisces, that through being spontaneous and seeking beauty and laughing and having fun, that you've been able to release the control, okay, you've been able to take the box off your head, you've been able to release that burden, okay, you've began to trust the process, okay, we've got going with the flow, yes, and you know what, this is absolutely wonderful, because this is, oh yes, 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 my says yes, I like this, okay, see, I think I'm on the right track now <laughs> because then the cards jump out and it all starts making sense. We've got going with the flow and this is a new beginning, a new beginning in something so passionate and loving. You know, whether that's something that you love to do or a relationship, it could be, you know, a new relationship. It could be an existing relationship being transformed, okay, um, because you have this dream. You have this dream of this loving relationship, okay. It may be one that you had in the past and this is something that you've you've lost or you you believe you'll never have again. It, it could be a dream that you had that you envisioned this relationship would be this way and it hasn't necessarily turned out that way. And how do you get it to that? You know? So laughter. You know what? Laughter is also a really good release as well. Sure, we can cry, um, but we can laugh as well. Just, just, just be aware of not. Um, I don't want to say suppressing, but ignoring the things that need to be acknowledged. Okay, but it's also cool to have a good laugh. Okay, so clear endeavor. Clear endeavor. Oh, I love this. Okay, so I'm seeing here this 
icicle up here on her forehead. I feel like this is this third eye. Okay, but the, the first thing that came to me was this is this icicle. I'm getting a little bit of mixed messages here. Because the icicle, it looks really beautiful, but it's also an icicle. So it can be really cold, but I don't feel like I don't I don't feel like it's cold. Unless it's a misperception um, because of this. And it could very well be that some of you are in a really cold relationship, a cold environment. Um, and because I was like, oh, the, the, the dandelion petals have been transformed into icicles now. Like there's been a transformation and it's brilliant. But then I'm like, is it? Or is it just the perception that it, it looks different? So it's like, no, 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 no. It's good, because I've added this to it. But what have you grown? What have you grown in there? Yeah, this is really interesting. Okay, it's throwing me off again, Pisces. Let's have a look though. Tell me more about Clear and Deva for Pisces. Well, just throw them out of the deck. <laughs> Clear and Deva, we have inner voice and we have the mind. So, what's happening for you, Pisces, with this Clear and Deva? Yeah, I was on the right track actually. Um, this is getting in the way of this, okay? It's getting in the way of you seeing clearly, okay, the path to get to this dream. I feel like this is overtaking, okay, and and this is keeps jumping out. You, you're like, no, but it's fine. I told you it's okay because, you know, look at this pretty icicle and look at the pretty bling on the block. Box. And look at the pretty candles. And look at the prickles. <laughs> right? So I feel like I feel like you're tricking yourself or you're trying to trick yourself because it's easier to live with. But you're not actually doing yourself any favors. You're hindering yourself in a sense, okay? So this is what I feel like needs to happen over the next couple of weeks is to really clear that mind, which is going to for some of you it's going to take a lot of work. To allow the inner voice to come out. Okay. To allow the inner voice to be heard. So that you can see clearly. The path. I also feel like if you are trying to remember or look back to what it is that you wanted to do when you were young. You know, what is that mission? Um, this is going to help because your mind's so clouding the the um the vision that it's it's like this energy here it's like this dream there's a whole different energy here compared to this person sitting here and i feel this is exactly the same here two completely different energies this here is her and this here is this okay so yeah Really trusting the process, okay? Um, not letting this get in the way of that, right? We've got ideal course of action. Yeah, so, okay. I'm, I'm just wondering for some of you Pisces that there could be a new direction that you're heading in. Also, the dandelion here has not been blown on. The petals have not begun to travel. And I feel like it, it could be a time right now to really contemplate what is the ideal course of action, right? So that the way can be clear. You know, be spontaneous. That coming out earlier may be, that may be, Pisces, may be, you have been always being spontaneous. Maybe it's time to actually stop and consider. Consider, oh, 
should I go in this direction? Should I go in that direction? Because this is, it's sort of like, this is the destination and here's the obvious path. Okay, even though I think it's actually a river. Yes, it is. It's the river. Oh, I notice also the tide is not heading towards the castle. The river is flowing away from the castle. I've never noticed this before. So have you, is this not the destination? Is this where you've come from? And now you're like, okay, not too sure which way to go now. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. Even the little monkey here. The little monkey here looks a little bit perplexed. A bit like, hmm. I don't know either. But let's have a look. Two cards for ideal course of action for Pisces, please. Two cards. Ideal course of action. Success. Don't know. Success. Ideal course of action. So, okay, so you've travelled along the path and you've got to a certain point. So you've succeeded. You've had some success, right? You're not at the end. Um... But celebrate. Celebrate how far you've come so far. Okay. This could also be recognition for something in your life. Okay. Um, the things that you have accomplished potentially. Okay. Um, either that be recognition from yourself or from outside forces. Not too sure because there's no, no one else in this card but you. The one thing I do want to say with this though, Pisces, is just be mindful about not being too cocky about it. Projections. With this ideal course of action, It could be that you want to go in a particular direction and someone else wants to go in a direction and um, you are both clashing about that. And it could be getting quite, um, creating a bit of tension, I suppose. Um, so I think it's really important for you maybe to, yeah, consider the ideal course of action given that this tension could be being created. This could even be tension within yourself. Yeah. I also feel that for some of you, you're not speaking up. You are not speaking up as to what you truly want. I feel like some of you may keep it quiet because you're afraid of maybe ruffling feathers and sometimes it's just easier to shut up and not say anything and I don't think that that's a healthy way to approach the situation and if it does ruffle feathers understand that that is that person projecting their own stuff onto you okay it's not necessarily you per se it's their stuff that they're projecting. So be mindful of what you're taking on, right? Don't carry other people's burdens. Don't carry anything that is not yours to carry. Even in a relationship. Sure, you can support one another. In a friendship, you can support your friends. In a family ship, you can support your family. But you don't have to take it on board and carry it for them. Because that doesn't, it doesn't serve you and it doesn't serve them. Okay, you begin to become weighed down and potentially resentful and they don't learn what it is they're meant to learn from it because you have taken the load off their shoulders. Okay, so this is very important for you to be quite mindful about how that is playing out in your life. Okay, and we have open your heart 
quite interesting because I'm sure that Open Your Heart comes up with the dream quite a lot somewhere in the reading when it comes up. So I love, and these two really, to me, do connect, okay? Um, because it's it's like there's this dream of, of what it is that you want and yet somewhere along the line you've closed yourself off because you know out of protection so it's then impossible for the dream to come to you okay so it's sort of like you you put something out there to manifest in your life right and it doesn't come and you can't figure out why but it's actually because this protection has put the walls up from it being received. So, yeah. Okay, two cards for Open Your Heart for Pisces. There's one that's fallen down, but I'm not feeling that, so I'm just going to pick this up. I don't even know what it was, because it landed upside down. So, but I was just like, you yeah, know, nah, I don't like the way that fell. <laughs> okay, so Open Your Heart for Pisces. Two cards for Open Your Heart for Pisces. There's one... I don't know what it is yet. Okay. Rebirth. Rebirth, Pisces. Rebirth. Opening your heart and breakthrough. Wow. Far out, Pisces. Wow, wow, we. Okay. So. This projections card is still jumping out at me, even though these two have come up. I feel like the projections is stopping a rebirth, okay, and a breakthrough from happening. I feel as though um, the projections, <sighs> the opening of the heart softens these projections because what I'm drawn to here is the two shadow faces here, okay? Um, and what's happening is when we project onto other people, that's actually our shadow self, all these parts of ourselves that remain unhealed and unacknowledged get projected out. This is this to me is what triggers are about. Right? Um, th these are the projections that we we project out our triggers because we haven't dealt with them and it's sort of like throwing them at someone like have that. I don't want that. That's yours because you trigger that in me. No -uh -uh. not at all. It's yours to be dealt with. If it's your trigger it's yours, okay? And if there was nothing to be triggered, there would there would be no trigger, okay? So it's it's easy to say, oh yeah, I deal with that. I don't need to deal with that. But if it's still getting triggered, it hasn't been dealt with, not fully, okay? Um, and remember, there's many, many, many layers to things. So you can't. This is like you, you know, if you've lived 20, 30, 40 years of your life, you can't. You've got lots lots of layers to work through, okay? So I feel as though opening that heart, although it's scary for some of you because you're becoming vulnerable, um, that, that rebirth and this breakthrough, this is what this is what is going to help you. Okay. Um yeah. It's gonna help with these projections anyhow. Okay, um, letting, letting, see this here, this, this child rising up, it's like this was you, when we were talking about before, about, you know, what are you here to do as a child, it's to play music, it was never to be a camel or a lion, it was always to play music, type of thing, okay, so yeah, so let's just get some grace cards here, okay, so, Sorry, I just want one more shuffle. Okay, here we go. We've got love. Share your heart. To love another is the ultimate expression of grace. Psh, open your heart and love. Yeah, love that. Okay, direction. Look for clues. Grace will lead us to the exact events and experiences we need at precisely the right time. I love that when we're talking about clear endeavour and ideal course of action. That is perfect. 
Okay, the last card here, Pisces. Listen. When we feel overly attached to an outcome, mm -hmm, and this is this control, right? Yeah, anyway. Um, when we feel overly attached to an outcome, it's simply an indication that we need to reconnect with our wise self. Perfect. That is absolutely perfect. I have nothing to add to that because that has said it all for you, Pisces. I love that. So, yeah, if you need to come back and listen to this over the next couple of weeks, Pisces, do. Because as you go along the next two weeks, there might be things that pop up and you'll go, oh, shiz, actually, yeah, that rings true, more true for me now. So, yeah. Okay, Pisces, take care of your beautiful selves. See you next time. Bye.